Alright, um, so I'm here with another example of implicit differentiation. Right. Now let's say I have been given a function like so. Okay. Now I can either start differentiating the function straight away on both sides implicitly and everything, but a wiser method would be to operate complete equation by the tangent function. Okay, operate the whole equation by the tangent function. Now if I assume that that you know everything lies in the principal intervals, then I can actually write this as simply xy. Okay. And now if I differentiate both sides it would be much easier for me. Okay, differentiating tan y with respect to x, remember, y is still a function of x, okay, y is not going independently, it's, it's, it's dependent on something, it's dependent on x, you cannot forget that, okay. So, sec squared y, and, you know, just like you do in the chain rule, you have some other function, inside a function, you differentiate the outermost function, and then you move in and when you move in you write the derivative of this function inside with respect to whatever you're differentiating so that is dy over dx the derivative of this function inside with respect to whatever we are differentiating we're differentiating with respect to x so that's simple implicit differentiation again now the product rule here so the first function as it is the derivative of the second with respect to x okay that's dy over dx uh, plus y and the derivative of x with respect to x is simply 1. So dy over dx, let me bring this term on the left, I get sec squared y take away x equals to y. So simply dy over dx would become y over sec squared y take away x, which is my answer. Okay. So instead of just straight away differentiating this implicitly, I chose to operate the tan function to make things easier. And again, I applied implicit.